Hello everyone, David Kessler here and welcome back to the studio. Even though you're watching this video probably in August, it was filmed just after Independence Day in the U.S., which is July the 4th. And it made me think of how thankful I am for those that serve in our military to defend our country. And then my family, you know, we have several folks that serve. My dad was in the Air Force. My father-in-law, Glenn, was in the Army. Uh, my sister's husband, Todd, was in the Navy. Uh, and I have many, many friends that served in our military. And I honor them and I thank them um, for doing that uh, for us, for us all. Um, and it started me thinking about those that I know that were in the military. And one Marine buddy of mine said that, you know, when they were in basic training and then later on in more advanced training, their mantra was embrace the suck. Uh, and basically that meant that, you know, when you're in the middle of it, embrace that struggle, embrace the suck that's happening because it's going to suck now. Uh, but later on, as you make advancements and your learning increases, you'll be more successful. And the training is really just a basis to, um, you know, toughen you up and make you ready for what's to come. And I think as artists, that's very appropriate for us. I mean, we spend an inordinate amount of time learning, really a lifetime, learning this thing called art. I mean, it's crazy. You know, some people think that you come to a three-day workshop and all of a sudden you're going to, you know, paint like Picasso or something. Or are you going to be a great artist after a three-day workshop or after ten three-day workshops? It doesn't work like that. It's just a, it's a, it's a constant progression where you begin and you start and you work towards a goal of getting better. I mean, that's really the way it works with pretty much everything. And, you know... My struggle as, a, as an artist was reinforced just recently because I started doing something I hadn't done in 40 years, which was play the guitar. I mean, you know, like a lot of kids, um, you know, when you're in high school, you play in a rock and roll band. And I did that, you know, um, but a long time ago, sold all my equipment and everything. But just recently, after not having picked up a guitar for more than 40 years, I said, you know something, I think it's something I might want to do again. And it's amazing how much I'd forgotten and how much I hadn't, I just didn't know. Uh, so it's been a struggle for me uh, to, to do anything. You know, when you're 16, 17, 18 years old, you know, you can play a song through one time <laughs> and remember it. When you get to be my age, it takes a lot longer <laughs> and a lot more times to play through to remember the song. So for me, um, you know, it's just been a struggle and it's going to continue to be a struggle because I'm going to pursue it just like I do with art, which is I'm embracing the suck. You know, it's, it's, it's hard when you're learning. It's a struggle when you're learning. Um, so I'm relearning that and I'm still struggling as a painter. And I think we all do and we do it until the day we die because it's a lifelong pursuit. We embrace the suck. And I'm going to encourage you to do that. You know, don't, don't overlook the struggle. Honor the struggle. You know, acknowledge the struggle. Embrace it as part of your learning. And realize that through all the stages of the suck, you're going to get better. Uh, the more you paint, the better you're going to get. The more you learn about how to develop a painting and develop a composition and work with colors, the better you're gonna be, right? So, so don't say, oh, well, you know, I don't wanna go through this, it's too much struggle, it's too hard. Well, it is hard, uh, but remember, embrace it, love it, live it, own it, right? And you'll be more successful in the end because the struggle that you have now and the struggle you'll probably continue to have are gonna make you better later, I promise you. Uh, so if you like these videos, be sure and share it with your friends if you think they would enjoy it. Uh, be sure and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And you know, I have a whole list of workshops that I teach all across the United States. If you want to join me for one of those, I'll add a list in the description below. Uh, you can click on that. So hopefully I'll be somewhere near you and you can join me for a workshop. 
If you have any comments or anything, put them in there. Let me know. And I hope this video was helpful for you. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.